Okay, so now we're going to go on to number 7 of lecture 15. The question states, why would fossil lipase A2 be an effective component of snake venom which causes cell lysis? Well, cell lysis is when a cell ruptures. In order to rupture a cell, you have to disrupt its membrane. And as we know, glycerophospholipids comprise are a main component of uh, the cell membranes. And glycerophospholipids have the two fatty acids. And when we're talking about fossil lipase A2, it wants to cleave the fatty acid at C2. So say we had snake venom running through our blood with this phospholipase A2, and say this is part of a cell. It would cleave C2, removing a fatty acid from each of these glycerophospholipids, causing it to become a lysolipid, which just has one fatty acid. And now, since these have one fatty acid, um, the most stable form of these fatty acid is to become a mesyl cell. So snake venom would cause the glycerophospholipids to only have one fatty acid, and the most stable form would be in its mesyl form.